On deck 5, you'll find the Oasis Spa. Relax and rejuvenate. The Oasis Spa has a vast variety of different treatments all available to book. Within the luxurious thermal spa you will find heated Balinese beds, a steam room, salt room sauna and fantastic experience showers. Passengers interested can purchase daily passes or a pass for the entirety of your cruise. The spa offers a huge variety of state-of-the-art treatments for singles as well as for couples. Some of the Oasis Spa treatments can be booked prior to boarding. The spa is a very busy destination on embarkation day with many passengers booking treatments for their crews. During the course of our cruise we found that the Horizon Daily Planner had lots of deals and discounts for the spa. For those gym lovers, on Deck 5 you'll also find the Oasis Gym. The gym is free to use for all passengers. Within the gym you'll find a huge variety of exercise equipment as well as free weights. Exercise classes are also available on a first come first serve basis. On Deck 6 Forward you'll find Headliners Theatre Stalls Entrance. Entering the Headliners Theatre via the stalls entrance will give you access to the lower level of the theatre. Theatre production shows as well as guest entertainers use this large modern area. It's advisable to pre-book all of your performances. Passengers can pre-book all performances in the theatre up to two weeks prior to departure. Also on Deck 6 you'll find the exclusive scene. This is where teenagers, 13 to 17 year olds, can hang out. In order to gain access, teenagers need to be registered with the onboard scene team. On Deck 6 you'll also find the Oasis Spa and Health Club main entrance. Here you will find the onboard nail salon, a fully equipped male barbers, a modern and fully equipped pedicure suite. There's also a fully equipped hair salon. Here you can also purchase all of the products used within the spa and health club. For the art lovers amongst you, on deck 6 you'll find the white wall gallery. A selection of modern and contemporary artworks are on display and these can all be purchased on board. The gallery also hosts a number of events and these will be advertised in the Horizon Daily Planner. On Deck 6 you'll also find the entrance to the Limelight Club. The Limelight Club offers a unique experience where guest performers will entertain you whilst you enjoy a scrumptious three-course meal. The Limelight Club can be pre-booked up to two weeks before your departure and incurs a small charge. A three-course meal is included and you can find a link to the menus in the description. On deck 6, in the middle of the ship, you'll find the lower floor of the atrium. The area is used for entertainment activities and is surrounded by bars and restaurants. The Amber Lounge is located off the atrium. In the Amber Lounge, you will find a range of handcrafted cocktails unique to this area of the ship. The area consists of a large variety of seating. The Amber Lounge is a popular venue during the day and during the evening. Night or day, there is always some entertainment available. On Deck 6, you'll also find the 710 Club. The 710 Club is a unique and sophisticated venue from the creative mind of Gary Barlow. 
Sit back and enjoy as musicians play a different genre each evening. There are a number of performances scheduled each evening and booking is highly advisable as it is a very popular venue. In the main atrium you'll find Vista's Café Bar. Here you can enjoy a Costa coffee whilst taking in the ambience of the Grand Atrium. In addition to coffees and speciality teas, you can also purchase sweet treats. Small costas are also included in the ultimate drinks package. For those passengers that like to sparkle, on deck 6 you'll find the Swarovski store. Anderson's Bar is a hugely popular P&O venue and you'll find it on deck 6. Anderson's is the place to relax and enjoy the taste of Arvia's own rum. In Anderson's you'll also find the distillery. Here you can purchase gin and rum tasting experiences and an additional charge. Here you will also find a selection of books and board games to play. Next to the midship elevators, you'll find Arvia's Mission Control. This activity is a unique immersive experience which combines features of an escape room and a live action story. Guests can participate in two unique missions. This activity comes at an additional charge and guests can pre-book their visit to Mission Control via the MyHoliday.pno app. On Deck 6 you'll also find Ocean Studios, Arvia's three-screen cinema. The films change regularly and are shown at multiple times throughout the day and evening. There's no additional charge to enjoy this venue. In the foyer you'll also find vending machines. Here you can purchase additional snacks and beverages using your cruise card. Ocean Studios has an authentic cinema feel, perfect for sitting back and relaxing whilst enjoying a really good film. The 6th Street Diner is located on Deck 6. This venue is Arvia's take on an American institution. Get ready to enjoy this experience for breakfast, brunch and dinner, all included within your cruise fare. The diner serves traditional American style food, it has a set breakfast menu as well as a lunch and dinner menu that changes regularly. To enjoy this venue at either breakfast, lunch or dinner, guests can join the virtual queue using the MyHoliday.pno app. To view the menu for the 6th Street Diner, there's a link in the description. Opposite the 6th Street Diner on Deck 6, you'll find the Olive Grove. The Olive Grove is a Mediterranean inspired restaurant with dishes that are tasty and authentic. Once again this is included in your cruise fare. This dining venue is only open for evening meals. Guests can pre-book their meal in the Olive Grove up until half past six or you can join the virtual queue whilst on board. To see the Olive Grove menu, click the link in the description. At the aft of Deck 6 you will find the Meridian Restaurant, one of Arvia's main dining rooms. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. If you're lucky to be seated at the back of the restaurant, you'll be treated to some magnificent views. To ensure a prompt service, it's highly recommended that passengers join a virtual queue. If you're interested in the menus for the Meridian restaurant, click the link in the description. If you're enjoying this video, please consider pressing that like button and don't forget to subscribe. On Deck 7 Forward, you'll find the main entrance to the Headliners Theatre. 
The theatre can hold 900 guests. The Deck 7 entrance also provides access to the accessibility seating area. On Deck 7 you'll find another of P&O's favourites, Brodie's. This venue is the place for quiz lovers. There are elements of the traditional style British pub with a large range of bottled beers, ciders and real ale. Day or night, this is an extremely popular venue and getting there early is advisable. Brodie's also contains some classic British entertainment, a pool table and some dartboards. Next to Brodie's on deck 7 you'll find the casino. The casino has all the options to satisfy those who'd like to test their luck. There are a number of popular table games surrounded by the latest slot machines. The glass house is located in the atrium on deck 7. This venue is definitely the place for wine lovers. There is a wonderful menu put together with award-winning expert Ollie Smith. Here you will also find a fantastic range of food and light bites for an additional charge. There's a large selection of seating available and for those of you on an ultimate drinks package you can also have any wine priced $6.95 or below. The position of the glass house enables you to enjoy some spectacular entertainment from the main atrium. The cellar door, part of the glass house, offers wine talks, tastings and wine pairing dinners. Just off the atrium and deck 7 you'll find reception. Staff are available 24 hours a day and are available to help you with all of your onboard needs or queries. If you're missing your daily news fix while you're on board, you can pick up a copy of Britain Today. This is available from reception from 10am in the morning at no additional cost. On deck 7 you'll find the Avenue shopping area. A haven for shopping fans, the Avenue shopping area features shops selling products from clothing to jewellery, fine fragrances to gifts and not forgetting that duty-free store. There is a huge selection of products available from the shops on board giving you plenty of chances to spend any onboard credit. Watch lovers will not be disappointed by the huge selection of available timepieces on board. There's a huge selection of P&O Arvia merchandise available as well as a small electronics outlet. On deck 7 you'll also find the loyalty and crew sales desk. Here you can sort out any of your Peninsula Club queries as well as book future cruises. The Shore Experiences desk is also located on Deck 7. Here you can find out information about your ports of call and also book any Shore excursions. The Photo Gallery on Deck 7 is the place to purchase all of those photos taken by the onboard photography team. There are electronic tablets available for you to view and purchase any of the photographs taken on board. The photo gallery is also the place to go if you'd like to arrange a bespoke photography session. To the aft of Deck 7 you'll find the Zenith restaurant. This is the second of Arvia's main dining rooms. The restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner and is included in your cruise fare. It's advisable to make a reservation using the virtual queue system. 
The Zenith restaurant is located directly above the Meridian restaurant and can be accessed via the staircase. To view the Zenith dining room menus, click the link in the description. If you're finding the information in this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. On Deck 8 in the main atrium, you'll find the speciality restaurant, the Keel and Cow. The Keel and Cow offers gastropub style food at an additional charge. Will it be their signature burger or a prime steak? Great food in a beautifully central location. Guests wishing to make a reservation to eat in the Keelan Cow can do so via the My Holiday P&O app. To view the menu for the Keelan Cow, check the link in the description. On Deck 8, you'll also find the Duty Free Sweet Shop perfect for relieving those sugar cravings. Ripples on Deck 8 offers artisan gelato in a bright and eerie surrounding. Options here range from a single scoop in a cone all the way through to a gelato afternoon tea. Also available are tea and coffee and a selection of sweet treats. All of the gelato, teas, coffees and sweet treats come at an additional charge. Another fan favourite of P&O is Sindhu. Sindhu takes you on a taste journey through different regions of India. The surrounds are tastefully appointed and complement the contemporary Indian cuisine. Sindhu is an incredibly popular venue and it's advisable to make a reservation for your cruise on embarkation day. To dine in Sindhu, you'll be charged an additional supplement. During our P&O Arvia cruise, we dined in Sindhu. To find out exactly what we thought, make sure you subscribe to our channel and watch our vlog series. On Deck 8, you'll also find the keys. The Keys serves up three times the options when it comes to food, whether it's fish and chips from hook, line and vinegar, the wonderful katsu chicken curry from Fusion, or the unique take on the Sunday roast. With a roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding, or a Yorkshire pudding wrap. The Keys will certainly have you coming back for more, and best of all, it's included in your cruise fare. The Keys is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast is available until 10am and is usually much quieter than the buffet. The Keys has ample seating available and we never found it difficult to get ourselves a table. On Deck 8, you'll also find the exclusive dining venue, Green & Co. This venue is unique to Arvia. Lovers of sushi will feel right at home here, but what really sets the menu apart is its vegan range of plant-based dishes. Green & Co. is open for lunch and dinner and pre-booking is advisable. This venue incurs a small surcharge. A link to the menus is available in the description. At the aft of Deck 8, you'll find the Clubhouse Bar Lounge. The Clubhouse plays host to family fun entertainment during the day and to the ship's resident party band during the evening. Later at night, the clubhouse features comedians and is home to the late night disco. The clubhouse is a large venue with lots of seating available. However, due to its popularity, it's advisable to get there early. If you're finding this video useful, be sure to press that like button. At the very aft of Deck 8, you'll find the Sunset Bar. 
This venue consists of a large outdoor bar area as well as ample seating from which to enjoy an ice cold drink. The Sunset Bar also features two supersized hot tubs. On Deck 8 you'll also find access to the full wraparound promenade. To walk the full length of the promenade took us around 10 minutes at a brisk pace. For the vast majority of venues that are situated on Deck 8 you'll also find some outdoor seating. It's a perfect location for enjoying a gelato from Ripples in the sunshine. You're also able to bring any food out from the quays just outside and sit down. There are a number of sheltered seating areas as well. In addition to the outdoor seating areas there are also ample sunbeds dotted along Deck 8 as well as a number of infinity pools. Whether it's the walkway outside the main atrium windows or the views from the front of the ship, the promenade is truly spectacular. On most of the passenger decks you'll find a laundrette. In the laundry you'll find irons and ironing boards as well as washing machines and dryers. All are free to use. For the washers and dryers all you need to do is bring your own detergent and softener. P&O also include a list of instructions on how to use the washers and dryers. Here's an example of Deck 15 forward lifts. During our 14 night cruise we stayed in inside cabin 15111. We've created a full room tour and the link is in the description. On Deck 16 you'll also find the lower level of the Sky Dome. The Sky Dome features a large pool as well as a number of hot tubs. There are a number of deck chairs surrounding the pool area and main stage. The Sky Dome on Arvia also features a retractable roof, perfect for those sunny evenings. During the evenings the Sky Dome becomes its own entertainment venue. Entertainment and events will be listed in your Horizon Daily Planner. Within the Sky Dome on Deck 16 you'll find Sundays. This is the spot to pick up an ice cream whilst enjoying the atmosphere of the Sky Dome. Here you can also get a Costa Coffee. The first of two bars on the lower level of the Sky Dome is the Laguna Bar. A large open area perfect for relaxing with a drink. The Crystal Bar is also located on Deck 16 in the Sky Dome. If you're looking for a cool beverage in the Sky Dome during the day then this is the place to head. It's also open in the evenings and if you want an alcoholic drink whilst in the Horizon Buffet head here. Taste 360 is located within the Sky Dome and is the place to go for a quick bite to eat. Offerings here range from burgers to hot dogs, pizzas to fries. This venue is complimentary and included in your cruise fare. Pool towels are freely available throughout the ship. Located on Deck 16 you'll also find the large Horizon restaurant. This restaurant is P&O Arvia's Buffet. Food is available from breakfast all the way up until the midnight buffet closes. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner or snacks you'll always find something to eat in the Horizon restaurant. Throughout the Horizon restaurant there are a number of self-service drink stations. Teas, coffees and water are freely available. Fresh juices are also available for breakfast only. The Horizon Buffet has a huge selection of seating available whether it's family tables, tables for two or even private booths. 
When dining in the buffet, neither of us ever had any difficulty finding somewhere nice to sit. The Beach House is another speciality restaurant on board P&O Arvia. This venue offers Caribbean and Southern American classics for all the family to enjoy. It's located within the Horizon Buffet and comes with a small surcharge. The chef's table is also located here on gala nights. It's advisable to book this event in advance and it's included in your cruise fare. To the aft of the Horizon Buffet you will find an outside dining area. On deck 16 you'll also find Grab and Go, a place where you can pick up freshly prepared food. On deck 16, at the aft of the ship, you will find the infinity bar and pool. Unique to Arvia is the Swim Up Bar, the place to be to sip cocktails whilst enjoying the warm sunshine. One of Arvia's two infinity pools is located to the aft of deck 16. This gives absolutely unparalleled wake views. At the very front of the ship on deck 17, you'll find the Crow's Nest. The Crow's Nest is a sophisticated venue sitting above the bridge. Sip your drink whilst enjoying the panoramic sea views during the day or enjoy a cocktail in the evening whilst listening to the live pianist. Next to the Crow's Nest on deck 17, you'll find the Epicurean. This speciality restaurant on board has a uniquely sophisticated style. It offers the most upmarket experience on the ship. The Epicurean uses classic British ingredients and gives them a modern twist. You will discover that this speciality restaurant is an absolute treat. Located on deck 17 is the Ivory Suite. The suite is used on board for special occasions. Beautifully decorated, it really is a wonderful place. The upper level of the Sky Dome is also located on deck 17. This level gives you the best views of any entertainment that's taking place within the Sky Dome. Seating is available all along the deck. Perfect for making the most of the sunny weather when the Sky Dome is open. Within the Sky Dome on deck 17 you'll find Sky Bar. This bar serves the upper deck of the Sky Dome. It's an ideal location if you're relaxing during the day or enjoying an evening of entertainment. On deck 17 you'll find the Reef. This is the location of the onboard kids clubs. The clubs are divided up into specialised rooms that accommodate children from different age groups. Pre-registration is essential on embarkation day. The nursery and night nursery is suitable for children under two years old. Splashers are for two to four year olds featuring soft play, Lego, fancy dress corner and themed playing areas. The surfers club is suitable for five to eight year olds. Games consoles feature here as well as a climbing wall, a pirate ship and a sports area. On board you'll also find scubas for 9 to 12 year olds and H2O for 13 to 17 year olds. Regardless of your child's age there is definitely something on board to keep them safe and entertained. The sun decks on deck 17 offer plenty of space to relax and recharge. You will find plenty of sun loungers dotted along the deck and for those of you that are a little bit more active there are plenty of deck games. At the aft of deck 17 you'll find two large hot tubs. 
At the very aft of deck 17, you'll be treated to some wake views overlooking the infinity bar and pool. On deck 18 forward, you'll find the adult-only exclusive area, the Retreat. The Retreat features comfortable seating and luxury sun lounges. There are also members of the crew on hand serving food and beverages. This area is an extra charge and booking is advisable because it is very popular. Similar to the spa, passengers can purchase a day pass or a pass for the entirety of their cruise. The retreat serves food and afternoon tea and light snacks and refreshments throughout the day. On deck 18, you'll also find the popular beachcomber bar and pool area. It features a wonderful pool surrounded by sunken seating. This area also has lots of sun lounges, making it an ideal area away from the hustle and bustle of the infinity pools. On deck 18, you'll also find a number of infinity hot tubs. A perfect sea day activity whilst enjoying the sun. Deck 18 is also home to the outdoor smoking area. And for the chess lovers, there's a large oversized chess game. There's also ample outdoor seating available. On deck 18, you'll also find the outdoor jogging trap. If you're feeling energetic or want to earn yourself an extra cocktail, then why not do a few laps of the jogging trap? If you're keen on golf, then why not practice your swing in the golf nets? Towards the aft of the ship on deck 18, you'll find Splash Valley. This fun area is where younger guests can cool off in a fun environment. At the very aft of deck 18 is the panorama pool and bar. The bar serves a huge variety of drinks and cocktails and is also a designated smoking area. Either side of the main infinity pool you will find sun lounges. This area is incredibly popular and sun loungers are in short supply. The second of the infinity pools are located here, known as the Panorama Pool. Once again, this pool offers great aft views. On deck 19 forward, above the retreat, you'll find a secluded sun lounger spot. This area is a short walk from the Beachcomber Bar and offers some spectacular sail away views. On deck 19 you'll also find an area of sun loungers overlooking the Beachcomber Pool and Bar area. Although busy on sea days and port days when the sun was out we always managed to find a lounger in this area. Dotted along deck 19, you will find areas with sun loungers. These secluded areas tended to be much quieter and are only accessible via a staircase on deck 18. At the very aft of deck 19, you'll find altitude and the mini golf course. The golf course is a family favourite, which is sure to bring out your competitive streak. The Altitude Skywalk is not for the faint-hearted. This is Piano Avia's exclusive high ropes course. The Altitude Skywalk is located at the top of the ship where you will tackle various elements while safely secured by a dual lock system. There is a height restriction for guests However, the course is suitable for children as well as adults. During the maiden voyage, there was no additional charge for this activity. However, this may change. 
On all decks and at various locations you will find touchscreen help points. You can use these to find information about the different venues on each deck. If you are unsure of where a venue is located or how to get to a venue, you can use the screens to find your way there safely. If you are unsure as to what position of the ship you are on, you can check the steer wells. Teal for forward, silver for the mid, and red represents the aft. On deck 3 you will find the medical centre. If you are on board and you need to make an appointment, you can do this by dialing 8880 or an emergency 999. Seasickness tablets can also be purchased from reception. Please ensure you have adequate medical travel insurance. All public toilets on Arvia are non-touch. All you need to do to open the door is wave your hand over the sensor and the door will open. Thanks for watching our P&O Arvia Ultimate Ship Tour. If you've liked this video and found it useful, please give it a like. If you think somebody might benefit, then please share. We have lots of Arvia content over on our YouTube channel, so make sure you press that subscribe button. And don't forget, we've got our P&O Arvia vlog series that's available now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on social media.